In this episode, the power tools keep winding on from morning to night. We mount the sides of the upper part of both hulls. After four weeks of intensive work, we have managed to finish two hulls. Hi, my name is Anna and this is my husband Life Eric. He came up with this idea to build a simple catamaran, put it in a container and send it from ice cold Norway to Tahiti in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This way we could start sailing in paradise. I said, what a crazy idea. Let's do it. This is the adventure of building and sailing Bada Bada. It was a very hot and sunny summer and we were sweating underneath the tarp and inside the party tent, constantly wearing on the shorts and singlets. We would get visitors that came to see what we were doing or helping us out, you know, as well. Sometimes they're just coming for a talk. And my mom would bring us apple cake and we were, you know, we were always ready for another coffee break, always. After the interior work was finished, we mounted the plywood on the upper part of the hulls. We started giving different parts and even the hulls silly names in Norwegian and laughed a lot about it. But somehow it also made us confused and on a very hot day I had a small outbreak telling or was I yelling to the crew please do not move things around we need to know where everything belongs Finally, we laid the deck and mounted the hatches and the building of two holes were actually finished after four weeks of extremely hard work. Incredible or what? It later looked beautiful in the lagoon of French Polynesia. In the last week of July, it started raining or actually it started pouring down and we had one well-built house for one hall and we had a party tent for the other hall. And we had still not coated the decks with epoxy and we really didn't need anything to get wet. So it started raining and it started blowing like mad. You know, this party tent was moving like this. And we had to do a quick fix, not once, twice, I mean, quick fix. During the whole day it felt like, you know, it, it almost felt like we did more work on the tent, tent than we did on the hull. But but we made it and by the end of july we had managed to finish two complete hulls incredibly truly incredible work we were so proud we laughed shaked hands hugged and talked about hans and his four months of building his boat we were rather proud so uh, we uh, of course we knew that um, there there were more work to be done Thank you for watching my stories. If you like what you have seen, I can make more videos. 
but to be able to do that, I need a little help. To keep the videos coming, you can support me by subscribing, by hitting the like button and the notification bell. It takes a lot of work and effort to make these videos. And if you want to help me a little extra, please check out my Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters.